to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Amberlynn Reed. Obviously, you saw the title of the video. Before we get into it, if you see all these lovely people here on the side of the screen, they are here while I'm recording this live. I stream on Twitch pretty much every single day, Monday to Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think I'm going to start streaming on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure, but be on the lookout for notifications because there might be popping up every once in a while. And uh, if you don't feel like going to Twitch, uh, you can just stay on YouTube and maybe I'll be live there. But today we're going to be talking about actually a pretty serious, <laughs> a pretty serious video that Amberlynn Reed posted and I watched it already. So I have, I have seen it already and it honestly more than anything is pretty sad, but it's one of those things that it's like you, you made your bed and now you're kind of lying in it. It's really sad to say it like that. And I know that sounds really harsh, but this is, this is the dangers. Like these are the dangers of, of being really really large like it's just it just it, it, there's no there's no hiding from it there's no you know lying about it there's no, it just is what it is um and so we're gonna watch this video so this is the title of it right here <clears throat> it says something bad happened i'm scared not clickbait uh i feel bad that she has to to write not clickbait but that's what happens when you <laughs> uh you know do what amberlynn reed has done so many times and kind of you know cried wolf uh it's you know, there are definitely repercussions for that. And I think she can't literally has to make sure that people believe that there's a serious health complication going on. Uh, yeah. So, okay. We're just going to go ahead and watch this and uh, I'll share my opinions on it. Oh my God. I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. So I just got out of the doctor. I was supposed to have my doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it became like kind of an emergency moment. Thankfully I was able to see my doctor today. I'm gonna have to explain everything. It's confusing, it's weird. I will say though, it feels so good outside. Like it makes me wanna go to a park. Okay, so I'm now home and I've been crying since the last clip. I got in the car, started crying, and then got home, started crying. I have other personal things going on in my life right now besides this and i know like people have been saying i seem so unhappy and stuff it's just i'm just there's a lot of things that i'm not sharing and i don't know if i want to and i know speculation speculation i can't even talk speculation but regarding this medical thing like so i do keep a lot of things from you guys and i know i don't <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but I, I don't think that that's a surprise to anybody that watches her videos. <laughs> I think I think we know that. And honestly, I think that's a good thing. I think that's healthy. I do think it's a negative when you claim that you don't keep things from people, but then you actually do keep things from people. Again, that just erodes the trust that you have in the viewers. Um, but I, I don't think anybody that watches your videos is surprised that there are you know things that you're not telling people, which again, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You should keep some things to yourself, but then when you claim that you, you know, I share everything, I don't hide anything, you know. No, I said I'm not going to talk about my fucking ankle anymore, and that was my goal, and, but it was a big part of my life, and I kept just, like, saying blah, 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 ankle. Like, I, I never went into detail after I said I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I personally think that that was the wrong thing to do. If it, if you want to share your life and you want to share and this is what i said in the video when she did this to her ankle if you want to share these things that are going on with you you should share those things because clearly like i said this is a big deal when you are her size and you hurt your ankle the way that she hurt her ankle that is a big deal it would be a big deal for me if i hurt my ankle like that that would suck and i would probably talk about it all the time right like i probably would on my instagram all that stuff so like think about that on being, you know, close to 500 pounds, that is going to be a huge deal, life changing, life altering. So again, I don't know why you decided to try and just not talk about it because I, I, I mean, I get it, right? So many people saying certain things, it gets annoying, but it clearly was a big deal. And I just, I feel like that was the wrong move. Um, I'm sorry, I look like my makeup looked pretty decent today and the <laughs> crying has made it not so decent. And the reason why it's bugging me is because I can see myself in the viewfinder and that's 
yeah so I'm sorry about talking about my parents people hate when I do that okay so there are a lot of things that I don't talk about with you guys um, out of fear out of per uh, personal like stuff like that and during my whole ankle debacle um all of us I love when she called things debacles or situations <laughs> it just makes me smile sudden literally out of nowhere I was having tremendous shoulder pain to the point of I couldn't move my arm um it was very scary um it radiated to my neck and I was feeling it in my back especially when I would breathe in this was a couple weeks ago that's scary like that's scary that would be scary for me like lung stuff and back stuff is scary and so I understand I, I believe what she's saying again someone in my chat said it perfectly and I, I agree like I believe like when she's crying I think that these are real tears do I agree with you know how she handles things or do I think that things are as big of a deal as maybe she might make them out to be I don't I don't know but I do believe that she has those those feelings are real whether or not I think that they're overblown or not I think they're real and so it's not fun for me to watch someone crying and talking about this stuff this is a very serious thing that's going on here and I uh, fully understand that um, I have had a EKG and no heart attack, no heart problems, none of that. So we don't have to worry about that. I just wanted to make that very clear um, before I kept going because I know that sounds very like, okay, heart attack symptoms, um, but it has nothing to do with that. So I was struggling with that for a little bit and I thought it was because of how I was getting onto the bed because of my ankle because you don't even realize how much you use certain parts of your body to do certain things until you no longer can use said part of your body or it hurts really bad to use said part of the body. And to get on the bed, I used my foot, my ankle, but I no longer could, could do that. And I am very big. I am super morbidly obese. So already, you know, you have to use a lot of strength and muscle um, when doing anything really. So getting on the bed was really hard because A, I had to change how I was doing it, blah, blah, blah. So I thought that I had pulled a muscle. So this is a, just a good example of the genuine struggles of someone that is as large as Amberlynn Reed, right? Everything becomes an issue. Everything becomes so much harder and I know that the easy thing to do is say, like, just lose weight. And I agree, that's probably what should happen, but it's not, it's just not that simple. But this is why I just cannot ever get behind people being like, any size is okay. Like, I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's just not. Like, this is not a way to live at all. I feel bad. I don't want anyone to feel this way, regardless of how many people feel uh, how they feel about Amberlynn Reed, I don't want her to be in this position. I don't. But regardless of, oh, she deserves it, she doesn't, this sucks. This is not a way to live, right? Or something like that. Um, I wasn't experiencing any other symptoms until a couple days ago. So I want to say that the pain did go away and that was after I was taking ibuprofen I was going back and forth between heating it with a heating pad and icing it with like a little ice pack so I was like okay so it was just like a pulled muscle strain muscle situation type deal but then it came back a couple days ago and I haven't had to get on the bed in any weird way because my ankle is healing it is almost healed I'm so glad I, I do notice that it's healed in a very peculiar, peculiar, peculiar uh, words. It has healed in a very interesting way. I feel like it's a little bit more, my foot's a little bit more like this instead of like this, it's a little bit more like this. And actually that happens to a lot of people who um, heal from torn ligaments and I had no idea, but I've been watching a lot of people's like experiences on YouTube with torn lig ligaments, especially in the beginning of when this happened. Hi baby girl. So this is literally how my mind works whenever like, I just every tangent, 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 bro. 
um that is like normal whatever so yeah we're we're doing pretty good um along those lines i was very worried because the pain was so bad that i was forever going to have ankle problems i was so scared that it was going to be like a bed bound situation like 2019 where i was just like months and months and months on end just in bed and <laughs> It's not quite like that. So a few days ago, I started having the pain again. It started just a little bit in my shoulder, but nowhere near, nowhere near as bad as it was. And then like when I breathe in my, like where your lung is, bro, like in your back, it is this sharp pain. And not only do I feel that, but it feels like my lung is like thumping once I reach, especially once I reach that like, like right there. Oh, cause I did. I, I wish you didn't do that. Cause God, that looks so painful. Like this is, this is, this is one of the dangers. Like this is one of the dangers, right? There's, there's nothing, there's nothing to say about it. Like, did like a deep breath, whatever. So obviously those things are not normal, especially now I have like a little tiny bit of a cough. It's not like 24 seven, you know, no mucus is coming out. It's very like dry and there is a little bit of a cough and it's mainly when I get up, walk or something um, and I have shortness of breath. So those things are scary for anybody. So I went to the ER, EKG, normal, blood work, normal, x-ray, normal. So the only reason why I went to the ER is because I called my doctor's office. I love my doctor. Absolutely amazing. Phenomenal. Um, best doctor I've ever had, honestly. So um, I wanted to see my doctor, obviously, instead of going to the ER, but there was no appointments. And they literally said, those are your symptoms. Go to the ER. So I listened. I know a lot. Of and then, I mean, on, on top of that, right? Again, when you're the size of Amberlynn Reed is, these are, these symptoms are only, like, it's only scarier because we know, and we're going to get into it. There's a study that I'm going to show you guys that, this is stuff that happens when you get this large things with your lungs, right? And so I, I think that this is the right choice. And some people apparently get mad at her for going to the ER. I personally think that if you are experiencing anything like this, you absolutely should be going 100%. A lot of people were mad that I went to the ER, which is so freaking odd to me because if you have shortness of breath with shoulder pain, back pain, all of those things that's not a like those are not like normal things especially when you're my size you know as soon as i got to the er they did so okay so i'm gonna nitpick a little bit but this is one of the things that i do i do struggle with a little bit with amberlynn reed because just before she just said what she said where she was like at my size she goes on to kind of say anyone would be worried about this no matter their size okay these are two, it feels like there are two different ways of thinking where it's like she tries to say, hey, all these things, like when she hurt her ankle, all these things would happen and would be an issue with anyone, no matter their size. But then she also uses the fact that her size makes things worse, right? And so it's it's just very hard. It's like, okay, do you fully understand that your size is a huge reason why all these things are going on or... Do you not get it? Because you you seem to walk two different paths and it's it, it, it's like you kind of weave in between. It's like whatever serves you, right? Okay, uh, currently using my size and saying that, that that's the issue is the best path forward. Okay, now I'm going to kind of swerve the other way and say anyone could – this could have happened to anybody. I'll swerve that way. It's just like you need to take either take accountability or just really kind of just live in la la land and deny it completely because i feel like you going woo 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 uh, back and forth it 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 doesn't serve you and it just confuses people in my opinion did the ekg within two minutes of me being there they said that when you come in with symptoms like that they need to take it seriously and urgently because it's so scary so i do not feel bad for going to the er um, I don't want to feel invalidated in that. Like, I was terrified. So after the ER, you know, it says follow up with your, you know, healthcare provider, your doctor. So I instantly called and made an appointment for Tuesday. And today's Monday. I woke up. And when I tell you, like, my breathing was not normal. Like, it just it felt wrong. You know, when I breathe in, like, that sharp pain with the weird 
thumping that's just for the lack of a better word i guess because i don't really know how to explain it to the best of my ability so i was like you know what <laughs> i need to call the doctor see if she can fit me in for today if she can't that's fine we can continue with tomorrow because i know how busy doctors are if she can't oh wait the doctor's calling me hold on okay so the doctor did fit me in for today she said she's gonna look at my d-dimer which when i went to the er that's what they should have checked especially because the symptoms that um, I had so she was like I'm gonna look and see um, if they did your d-dimer if it's normal then obviously it's not a blood clot but then if it's a little elevated then it's something we need to look into um, so she said I'll call you which she just called me and because she wanted to look at all my results she wanted to look at my blood my x-rays my EKG so just keep in mind that when I went to the ER they said all oh, that's normal and in my heart I just I felt like they were wrong this has happened before uh, when I have gallstones they said I didn't, even though I did. They said I was too young, so they didn't want to do the ultrasound. But I was like, you guys, something's not right. I ended up being right. I had gallstones. Same with my uterine cancer. I just kept getting diagnosed with a UTI. They said that's nine times out of ten. That's why people bleed in their pee. I don't know. It was just, oh, my God. So it's like when I... So what I hear when I watch this video is that there's clearly a... There's a trend here, right? One... There's a couple different trends. First thing is, it is true. I don't care what anybody says. When you are large, especially the size of Amberlynn, but even, you know, larger, even not as large, you do have to advocate for yourself. And I do think that it is important and something that needs to be talked about is how bigger people are treated in um, hospitals, in, you know, doctor's offices, because a lot of times the symptoms that you have, people will just say, ah, whatever, you're, you're being ridiculous or just lose weight or whatever. Right. And so I think that that is very clear and that I think that's happened to her. And I, I do feel bad for that. But I do think on top of that, we are seeing a trend of all of these, all of these things are going on and really like really negative things. And I think, again, you, you got to be realistic with yourself and say, hey, at, at what point, at what point do we say, I like, it's, it's not funny anymore. Like th this isn't a joke. This isn't like, this is my life. This is my life. You only got one of them. When do you, when, when do you hit that real rock bottom w w and make that change? I don't, I don't know. I don't have the answer and it's clear. There's a lot more going on here. Like I, I don't have the answers. I wish I did. I wish I did, but I don't. And this is what's so frustrating me because I don't know how to help Amberlynn Reed. I don't know how to help a lot of people that are in a position and I wish I did. And the thing is, is that we don't know how to help. I could sit here and say, just lose weight, eat less food, move more. Yeah, technically that would work, but clearly that's not working. So how do we find a way to help Amberlynn Reed and other people in this position? I know a lot of people dislike Amberlynn Reed and they're like, whatever, why do you want to help her? Yada, 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 whatever, right? I'm using Amberlynn Reed as a stand-in for everyone that is in a similar position because there are a lot of people in similar positions to her that are great people, nice people, lovely people that don't deserve any of this stuff, right? I don't know, but it's sad to see. It really is sad to see. I feel like something is wrong. I know that I need to be an advocate for myself and I just feel nine times out of 10 just as a morbidly obese person, we don't get the same healthcare, even doctor now, um, on, from 600 pound life. He's like, so honest about it. He's like, people who are bigger get discriminated against. So they don't, you know, so anyways, I don't want to get into that right now. That's a whole other topic for a different time. So I have to be an advocate for myself. I'm not saying that these people I've seen are discriminating against me. Doctors aren't perfect. They're not robots. I love them. I appreciate them without them. Like, what would we do? Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't want people to twist my words. It's just like, when you know something's wrong, you know something's wrong. My doctor just called me after. I do want to say like, this is kind of off topic, but I can like trying to put myself in the other position, right? You are a doctor that sees hundreds of people, dozens of people. I don't know how many people doctors see, but if you have like told this person like, Hey, your weight is like one of the issues, you know, it's one of the contributing 
facts. It's one of the things that is causing all of these things, right? It might not be the only thing, but if you were to lose weight, that would help a lot of the things. And to see that person come in time and time again and nothing is changing, I I can understand. I'm not saying I'm not a I am a doctor in YouTube, but I'm not a medical doctor, right? So that's why I'm not a medical doctor because I would probably get frustrated. <laughs> Like I would, I'm not, a, I'm not a perfect person. I'm a, I am a, I am a, I am just a regular dude. Right. And it would be very, very hard for me to see over and over and over again, this people that come in and their health is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And again, like I'm sure I would do my best to try and treat them and do what I can when it, when it's not just the weight, but also like to, 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 to just be like, oh, the weight has nothing to do with it. Like, come on, dude. Like, we have to live in reality. Maybe it's not all the weight, but clearly being this size is not good in the long run. Right? I think that we can all agree on that. And that would be frustrating as a doctor. I can understand that. Right? After she looked at my stuff and she said they did not do a D-dimer, which I don't know why they wouldn't have because she even said that. She's like, you you know, show signs of possibly having a blood clot in your lungs. So they should have done that, but they didn't. And something actually was found in my x-ray. And for some reason at the hospital, they didn't tell me. Part of my lung, God, I just feel like it's never ending. I don't know. Part of my lung is collapsed. The bottom of it. And it's like, is that what's causing all this? And my doctor said, if your breathing gets worse, then that could be a bad thing. And she said, if it doesn't, then we might be okay. But it's like, why wouldn't the ER tell me? I don't understand that. Like, partially collapsed lung. Like, a collapsed lung is kind of a scary thing. She just said the bottom of it is collapsed. It's a very scary thing. That's terrible fine and I just don't know what to do with that information um she's referring me to the CT place so I can get a CT scan so I actually have to call today and make an appointment myself I'm just really like this is so much on top of what I'm already fucking going through already go like what when it rains, it pours. Like, I want to believe in, like, tarot readings and whatever. Like, I was on TikTok scrolling through, like, a week ago. And it said, if you find this, it's meant for you. You're going to be coming in with lots of good luck. Good things are going to happen to you. What type? Of, like They lied. They lied. Sorry. They lied. <laughs> Obviously not tarot reading. Like, ugh. I just feel so scared and I don't even think I've processed collapsed lung. Like, what do I do with that information? It's, it's strange. And I do feel, I feel bad for her in the, in, in the way that like the first thing that she thought about when she found out this information was to film it and put it and like, put it on YouTube. Right. Not to like deal with it herself, but to film it, make it a video where she, uh, something bad happened. I'm scared. Not clickbait. And that's the first thing that she decided to do. I understand being in that position. I understand what it's like to be a content creator. You think, okay, this can be a video. This can make me money. But at what point is it too far? I don't, I don't know. And I'm not going to claim like, yo, I, I'm not perfect. And I, I be doing clickbait all the time. Okay. I just want to make that clear. But at some point, man, like, I, I just don't know. Like, it, it, I, I just really feel bad. I really do. Like, like, what do I do? What do you do? I, I, I think we all know. I, I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm genuinely like scared. So, um, yeah, I'm going through it. I'm sorry my vlogs are not fun, y'all. I'm sorry. This is real life. Like, so many people keep complaining. Your vlogs are so boring. You're, you seem so sad. My job is to fill my life. And I'm sorry, but I'm fucking going through it. So that's what you guys are going to see. 
and I hope that I can come out of this and just be happy and healthy because that's like the only option that I want is happiness and healthy and I don't know like I was very worried because you know I've had uterine cancer and what if you know it was lung cancer like obviously those thoughts are in my head because of things that I've gone through in the past and I don't know I'm just really scared you guys just please keep me in your thoughts and if you pray pray just please good fucking energy that's just what I need right now so like I would greatly appreciate it like truly okay so that is the video it's obviously very heavy towards the end but I wanted to I wanted to share this this uh, study with you guys so obesity systemic um, and pulmonary complications biochemical abnormalities and impairment of lung function so if you i mean you guys can go ahead I'll, I'll i'll link this in the description but we are going to scroll down to the conclusion because all of this stuff kind of is summarized right here okay it says obesity causes mechanical compression of the diaphragm lungs and chest cavity which can lead to restrictive pulmonary damage furthermore excess fat decreases total respiratory system compliance increases pulmonary resistance and reduces respiratory muscle strength it is interesting that metabolic syndrome also changes lung function and that the combination of obesity and metabolic syndrome seems to impair lung function even further in obese and overweight patients a strong correlation exists between lung function and body fat distribution with greater impairment when fat accumulates in the chest and abdomen we all know the you know the visceral fat dangerous stuff Despite advances in knowledge of pulmonary and systemic um, complications and of the biochemical abnormalities associated with obesity, longitudinal randomized studies are needed to assess the impact of weight loss on the, meta um, on the metabolic syndrome and lung function. So basically, you know, that talks about the issues with weight, excess weight, in our lungs. It's not a great thing. I don't think anyone is surprised by that but I just wanted to read that because I think that it's important and again we have to take it's important to not just blame people and not say like you know I, I don't like just being like it's your fault it's your fault it's your fault right but at at some point I think it's very important that we do take accountability we do take responsibility and we we say to ourselves look at this position that I'm in look at where I'm at in life at 32 years old or, you know, low 30s and think to ourselves, is this where I want to be any longer? And I would hope that the answer is no. And again, I'm not saying you have to do everything and it's all up to you, but you need, you got to put in some work. Like you can't rely on everyone else to make the decisions for you. We need to take responsibility and do some of the work at least ourselves. That's the video. Amberlynn, I hope that things get better. Genuinely, I'm sorry for what you're going through. But at the same time, let's let's be realistic. Let's be honest because the only way out of this is to work through it, right? And so I hope everything goes well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.